So far you have seen what is Playwright, what are the key features of Playwright and uh, Playwright architecture and also I have shown you how to install the Visual Studio Code and Node.js. In this video we are going to discuss about how to install Playwright in Visual Studio Code. The very first step is we need to install a extension called Playwright test for VS Code. And once we have installed the this particular extension, simply we have to press the Control Shift P in the Windows OS or if you are using Mac OS, simply you need to press Command Shift P. And then simply you need to enter the install playwright so automatically once you get a suggestion you can select the option as the install playwright then we have to select the configurations like browsers and what is the programming language then you need to click on the ok button so just you need to follow these three steps to install the playwright in vs code so firstly let's install the Playwright test for VS Code. So here I will navigate to the VS Code and you need to navigate to the extensions icon. So once you click on this particular extensions icon, so a list of extensions will be displayed here. So search for the Playwright test for VS Code. And if you see here, so in my case, I have already installed the Playwright test for VS Code extension. So make sure that it is uh, from the Microsoft.com. So once you have installed the Playwright test for VS Code extension, simply go to the Explorer. And you can click on this open folder or in the VS Code, go to the file and select the option as open folder. So both the options are same. So in my case, I have already created a one empty folder. Simply I'm opening that particular folder here. So that's it. Now you need to press the, so in my case, I'm using Mac OS. I will be, I will be pressing command shift p here if you are using windows os press ctrl shift p so simply i will press the command shift p that's it so here you need to enter the install playwright so here i got the suggestion install playwright simply i will select this option then here you need to select the browsers first. So here I have selected Chromium, Firefox, WebKit. So I want to install all the .exe files. And next you need to choose the program, programming knowledge, sorry, programming language you need to select it. So by default TypeScript will be selected. If in case if you are using JavaScript, you need to select the this particular checkbox. And I'll uncheck this particular option, GitHub Actions Workflow. So by default, our project will be created with the TypeScript. So that's it. Simply click on the OK button. And if you see this terminal, it started installing something and on the left side, you will be seeing all the folder structure. And if you see here, so it is trying to install the Chromium browsers. So all the browsers, it is trying to install it one by one. So it will take uh, some time to install the uh, Chromium browser and then it will install the Firefox browser as well then at last it will install the 
web kit browser so now it is trying to install the firefox browser so it will take a few seconds uh, to download the .exe file and it will keep in your uh, local path so at last it is trying to download the webkit browser so once the installation is completed it will give you a very important commands to note it also so those commands uh, you may need it uh, for daily use as well so that's it guys so once you got this message happy hacking so that's uh, that is nothing but installation is completed and if you see here so these are the very important commands you need to remember it for a daily use.